no matter where you're at in your relational life right now, no matter where your business is, I'm getting happy already, no matter where you've been and what you've been doing, God can still deliver you to the palace or your purpose, even if you're currently in a pit. But look what Romans 8.38 says, and I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love. Neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow. Doesn't that sound applicable right now in coronavirus? God's saying, my love will sustain you and anchor you through all of that. He said, verse 39, no power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. See, the love of God gives you hope through hell. If you're going through hell right now, you gotta remember that God is using everything. And if you would surrender, he'll turn that whole situation around. I hear some people who are saying, I don't deserve relationship anymore. I've broken so many things. I'm so messed up. And God said, but I, my love is so much greater than that. And I need you to hear me say this. Somebody's pulling on me right now. I feel it coming from me right now that the love of God is the thing you've been searching for. It hasn't been in a person. That's why you've had failed relationship after failed relationship, failed business deal after failed business deal, because you're trying to put the weight of something that they cannot feel on them but God says come to me all who are weary all who are heavy laden and I will give you rest and today I just feel this as the first point that the love of God is coming to overshadow all your deficiencies somebody needs to receive that right now the love of God is coming to overshadow all your deficiencies that's why Joseph is able to hold on for two years could you hold on for two years would you still keep a right attitude for two years? Would you still be singing praise songs after two years? Would you still be talking, trust in the Lord with all your heart? My time would be like, God, where are you at? This is really stupid. A year later, this is dumb and I'm about to get mad. Two years later, I'm done believing. God has failed me. And that's where many of you are today. It started out as trusting the Lord with all your heart. And because it took too much time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I, I, I need to come to you because on our list, uh-oh, on our list, we put times next to stuff. At, at 22, I'll be doing this. And at 27, I'll be married. And at 31, I'll have my second kid. And at 37, we'll be planning our retirement. And God said, uh, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Trust it. I know I'm in your business right now, but your timeline, God stands outside of time. And he's looking at your purpose and he's not looking at the clock. He said, I'm the God for some of you that think it's too late. He says, I'm the God that redeems time. Everything that the canker worm thought he stole from you, I can be able to pull that thing all the way back and all the years I will restore them. Somebody needs to get excited right now because you've been crying over what you thought you lost. But that wasn't a setback, baby. That was a setup. God is about to take everything that looked like a step back and he's going to move you forward. But it takes you trusting in him even when it's off your timetable. Rip up your list. So then what happens is one day in the process of time, two years later, Joseph's just sitting there like, God, I trust you. This is trash, but I trust you. Do y'all know that's okay? God is not offended by the statement, this is trash, but I trust you. See, a lot of us, we try to dismiss our emotions about what we're feeling, and we just try to stuff them like they're not real. It's, God is not offended by your reality. He's in it. So you can tell God, this is trash, but I trust you. It cannot end with this is trash. It has, it has to end with I trust you. It can't be God, I trust you, but this is trash because that last statement is going to precede what comes after it. But you can say, this is trash. This is not fair. I never thought I would be here. I never signed up for this. Nobody ever told me it would be this hard, but I trust you. And when you get to that place, then stuff starts happening.